Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgia here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is September 29th. It is yet another day. USDA is going to give us some more numbers uh, that we will need to pay attention to at 11 o'clock today. We do have uh, quarterly stock numbers. So end of a quarter, we're going to see what is left now for old crop. That will be the focus uh, here today for the grain markets. So the expectation is that for old crop corn, we're going to end somewhere close to 2.35 uh, billion carryout. So that's what will be carried into uh, this new year uh, or new crop number. Soybeans, uh, the estimate is right around 340 million. So just under that, we'll see. I don't expect to see a lot of surprises though uh, from these old crop numbers. These are numbers that we've been dealing with for a while, uh, the bigger corn number. Uh, but the tighter bean number though is a little surprising from where we had started the marketing year to where it had ended. So showing good demand. So something that yesterday when we had export sales uh, at a record, right now is our time to be making these sales. We need to continue to make uh, and, and to, to come up with, with better sales this time of year. It's our time to be selling beans. So even though that looked good, the pace that USDA has us on as far as export sales is a record this year. So we need to continue to see that demand. This tighter number here for beans, 300 and like I said, 340 million carryout. The focus as we move forward will be what does South America look like now? Because we know if they start having problems or issues, our demand may become even a little, even bigger here domestically. Corn, we know there's a big crop out there. Early talk right now is that yields are great, but it is also the early planted stuff. What's going to happen when we get into this replant? What's going to happen as we get further into harvest? How will that affect this corn market as well as we move forward? And so we've got big carry out for corn on top of potentially a big crop. So we'll see what kind of surprises USDA may throw at us. We know the last several months they've surprised us with numbers. Will they do it again? We'll have to wait and see. 11 o'clock is going to give us that. Livestock, we did have a hog and pigs report uh, yesterday afternoon. It came out unchanged, uh, or I should say it came out neutral. So we're not looking for uh, a lot of movement from those numbers here today. Hogs did back off yesterday. May see a little bit of a, a sell-off again here today uh, just because of, uh, of more or less the charts uh, and where we have things today. But those numbers, I'm not looking for any major market movement from that hog and pigs report. Cattle, still waiting to see some cash out there. Uh, cash is king. Box beef, though, uh, started off the week pretty good. Um, and then now kind of questioning whether or not we're going to get this higher cash trade or not. Uh, so keep that in mind here as we move to, but not a lot of news out there as far as the livestock. So we'll see. All eyes are going to be on this report at 11 o'clock. That will be the biggest, uh, the biggest market mover. So expect to see some quiet markets until then. We'll see how it goes. But uh, give us a call if you have any questions, 800-262-7538 or on the web at allendale-inc.com. You guys have a great day and have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.